What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cube Draft. We got a Karn and an Ashiok, two fan favorites. Uh huh. I think I like Karn a little better. Karn is just a late game banana, whereas Ashiok's great, but it all automatically convinces us to blue black. I'm gonna take this Karn. I think it's a solid first pick. Are you like Mind Twist? This is also very, very strong. Hmm. 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 He's unsure. He's unsure. I want to go with Mind Twist. I think it's just... The games where you get a Mind Twist off are just very, very... lopsided. I like a Murderous Rider. I think that guy's fine. Doretti's pretty sweet. <sighs> Not thrilled about committing to red this early. Yeah, I'll just stay on black and take the take the murderous rider. <laughs> um, I do like Time Warp a lot. Factor Fiction is nice. Let's just take the Necromancy, I think. Let's stay black. If it were me, I would take Soul Ring. It wasn't in the pack, but I think it was the pick. I, th I think you're right, actually. I think Soul Ring is always the pick. I, I think that's a good point you made. I don't want to be blue black again. Although Factor Fiction is a banger. Yeah, let's take Necromancy and see what happens. I like Orzhov Signet. I also like Solemn Simulacrum here. Hmm. I think Orzhov Signet probably a little better. None of these cards are super great. Yeah, let's just take the Signet. Also, if Vindicate comes back, I could definitely see us being a blue black. Uh, black white deck. I'm kind of hoping that Vindicate comes back because that seems great. Uh, let's Recurring Nightmare, actually. Recurring Nightmare seems really sweet. We can definitely, uh... We can definitely build around this so early. Also, white is a great color for making a bunch of tokens, so... That is a nice early Recurring Nightmare. Baleful Strix, huh? Well, I love Baleful Strix and I love Colagon's Command. I guess we're not necessarily in a time spiral. This pack's actually surprisingly good. Don't we have a stipulation for... Hmm. I'm going to take Colagon's Command here. I think we're taking Mask Room here. Ooh, Path to Exile. That seems good. Let's take that. Elspeth Conqueror's Death? Sure. I don't think the Vindicate came back, which is unfortunate.
Big worms. <laughs> oh man, seasoned hollow blade, are you okay? This is actually a discard outlet, which is pretty sweet. Oh, Knight's Whisper came back? Wow. This is wild, because a lot of the black-white cards are coming back, but the, the Vindicate didn't come back. Yeah, even if we just find a way to splash this. Like, if Lava Claw reaches his last pick, that'd be great. Eh, Silverblade, sure. You're not exciting, but you are in our colors, so. I actually... I actually wish I took Fire Blast instead of Rashad and Flame Blast. Instead of Rashad and Port. Flame Slash. Third time's a charm, I guess. Okay. Tropical Island and Underground Sea. They're telling me that I uh, chose the wrong colors. That's unfortunate. My, the Sultai Gods are mad at me. And there's a Primeval Titan in the pack as well. I'm going to take a Bloodstained Mire. Because it's good for our deck. And then we're going to hope to open... Get past this an on-color Mox. I mean, it's just a Mox Pearl or a Mox Ruby. Those aren't even that good. Mox, Mox Jet, maybe? Okay, this is also... This is basically the same as what I asked for, so that checks out. Makes total sense. Elspeth seems fine, actually, especially with Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, I think it's Elspeth, and I'm pretty sure, like, Baneslayer or Nighthawk Scavenger might come back. Yeah, let's take the Elspeth. Channel? Oh, man. You're killing me here. Scrubland. <laughs> Pretty easy Scrubland. Uh, I'm hoping Gideon Blackblade comes back, but... I think Banishing Light's actually fine. I, actually, let's take... I think Gonti's probably a little better. Yeah, we're taking Gonti here. Um, I kind of like Sun Titan. What can we get back? Necromancy, Murderous Rider, Season Hollowblade, Orzhov, Signet. I don't think it's Everflowing Chalice or Basalt Monolith. I think it's actually Sun Titan. We can also Recurring Nightmare the Sun Titan, so that's actually just fine. Inspiring Vantage, not terrible. Null Priest is actually also just fine. We can get it back with Sun Titan in the late game and reanimate something. Yeah, I'll take a Null Priest. I think the alternative is Lyra, but A, that might come back, and B, there might be a Bane Slayer coming as well, so... Thank you! Oh, Shanala, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 30 months on December 30th. It is a Christmas, a Crimbus miracle. I'm going to take Winds of Abandon here. Winds is actually a really, really great card. One side path to exile your whole board never, never looks so good. Ooh, Skyclave Apparition. We can get it back with uh, Sun Titan for sure. Now Bloodstained Mire is a dry land, which is super nice. I say now as if like the most recent pick uh, affected that. It did not. Recurring Nightmare, we do want some more creatures like Grave Titan or, I don't know, Shriek Maw. <laughs> wow, the Tropical Island came back? Jesus, talk about having no respect. I think we're just taking Amiria's Call. Just a fine card in the late game. 
Yep, there's the Bane Slayer that we were hoping uh, for. Es you know, essentially hoping for. I think it's still a fine creature, and if you discard it on turn two to Season's Hol Season Hollow Blade, then Recurring Nightmare back, it's still just fine. Gideon's... Gideon's okay. Soulfire Grandmaster, sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll take a living death. Maybe we can get that to work somehow. There's also 20 cards and I'm... Wow, Lyra came back? I'm going to take Inspiring Vantage. We don't need two angels. Oh, Shallow Grave. Interesting. How was Mutual's burgers? He was saying he would be the chef cooking tonight. Yeah, Michael, I, I didn't have them because I don't eat meat, so... I don't eat red meat. But he, he seemed to enjoy them, so... Ma -ma 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 Mox Ruby! I mean, I want this Demonic Tutor too, but I think we're just taking the Mox Ruby, especially because it makes our red splash a little easier. Ideally, Demonic Tutor or Sacred Foundry come back, but I'm not going to hold my breath there. It's a Mox Ruby, so I don't really know what the discussion is about. Inferno Titan. Nahiri. Hero of Blade Hold. Those are the three I'm looking at. A Braid's also good if it comes back. I don't think we want double red, even if we are trying to reanimate it. I think it's actually Nahiri. Nahiri gives us some nice uh, removal and card selection. Wouldn't say advantage per se, but... Kozilek is pretty sweet. We do have Shallow Grave. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? It is possible we pick up something else for Stoneforge Mystic. But the problem with Kozilek is we really have no other way to cast him. I think it's just Course of Portal, actually. I bet Shambling Vent or Stoneforge come back. But Course of Portal is super nice for this archetype and that... Uh... In Tomb... I don't think we're entombing it. We just have, like, Recurring Nightmare and Necromancy. I guess we do have Necromancy. Interesting. Necromancy gets any creature, though, so we can just kill their guy. I think we might just want the Concealed Courtyard, even though I do hate these lands that come into play tapped. I don't think we're entombing it. Oh, man. They're so mad at me. The Sultai gods are angry. I want to take Blood Chief's Thirst. This, this gets rid of a Planeswalker or an early creature, which is just fine. Shouldered pretty decent. Rotting Regisaur is nice. I just don't think we have enough creatures to really effectively discard. Let's just take Shouldered. Ashen Rider or Gristlebrand is really what we're looking for here. And then I'll actually take this reanimation a little more seriously. Unburial Rites is good. I don't think we need Fatal Push. We just picked up Blood Chief's Thirst. We also have... Uh, Winds of Abandon, Murderous Rider, Kolagon's Command, Skyclave. We have a bunch of removal. Nahiri, Elspeth. Um, Battle Ball could be good, or we could take Unburial Rites. I think we want the Battle Ball. Because then there's oh, then there's an Aleshnorn. Oh, wow, look at this pack. Reanimate, Aleshnorn, Gideon, and Bitter Blossom. Oh, God. I think it's definitely Aleshnorn. Maybe. Gideon Jura is also no slouch. I don't think it's reanimate. We don't have a ton of discard outlets. We literally just have like Seasoned Hollow Blade. I also don't think we need another big creature. So I think it's one of these two. And I think it's actually Gideon. That's a weird... Uh, this guy tabled. Crater Hoof tabled. Taking Sacred Foundry. Okay, well none of those cards I wanted came back. I will take Gaia's Cradle. Kozilek came back. Sphinx of the Steel Wind came back. I don't think it's Bone Shredder. 
I'm never happy with Bone Shredder. Wow, Fallen Shinobi came back. Yeah, take an Avacyn. Avacyn might be better than Baneslayer in the main. Okay. Yeah, I have to get rid of Gideon Blackblade. The problem is we don't have great ways to get these into the graveyard. We have literal seasoned hollow blade to just discard. We don't have entomb. We don't have other ways to discard. I like I like Mere Battlestar better than Shieldred here. Nahiri does discard, that's true. Oh, we do have Shallow Grave. Interesting. I wasn't sure if we took the Shallow Grave. It's interesting because we have Kozilek and Shallow Grave. <laughs> oh, boy. We need one more cut. Um, Gideon's actually pretty good with Sun Titan. So is Necromancy. So is Sky Clave Apparition. Maybe we just cut Bane Slayer. Actually, maybe Avacyn is better. This is eight creatures, but it does include Gideon, Elspeth, which is basically two more creatures. This is 23 right here, which I'm actually... I would like to find a way to fit Gideon back in, but I don't think we have enough two drops, really. Gideon's great when you have a bunch of two drops that you can actually use effectively. All right, let's bring this in. Bring this in. Concealed, bloodstained, inspiring. This and this. Sort by color. You can all go here. So we definitely want one. Actually, I don't think we need a mountain anymore because we do have blood. We have sacred foundry. So one, two, three. This is four red sources for two red cards. White, we have one, two, three, four, five. This is 10. Black, we have one, two, three, seven. Let's go nine, eight. Oh, we also have a Miria's call here. Wait, we're missing 10 cards. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 9, 10. Oh, we also have the one, the one mountain, so never mind. That's correct. So this is 15 lands plus Amiria's Call plus Mox. Yeah, all right. That seems good. Oh, Dan's, what up? Dan's, are you guys streaming right now? Because I literally saw you post in the chat and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna I was literally just gonna start a stream. And then I did start a stream. But I felt bad because we were like What's the word I'm looking for? Like cross streaming? No? Oh, did you stop? Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. It actually took us like over a little over two minutes to find a match there, so. Chip. Ugh, God. Double white, double white, four drop black black I mean, I'm not going to five here I'll just hope to draw signet into mox I guess 
Yeah, we can do some draw. I mean, like, it's hard to do draw the cards unless I get the cards to draw the cards, you know? Because I don't want to be like, yeah, let's do draw the cards, and then we just don't get any of the cards. It's always interesting to play this when you're not using it, because I can literally just kill it. I guess they could counter it. That might be why they actually pitch their island. Hmm. Wish that I kept the Skyclave Apparition now. Getting rid of a Mox Diamond is pretty bananas. <sighs> Hulk Deer's playing Scrabble with his mom is so, so wholesome. What are you doing right now? Tezzeret? Well, isn't that fascinating? I could update it to card advantage to draw cards, make OP discard, play opponent's card. That sounds more versatile. My biggest, because my biggest concern is like a content creator is like, oh no, I'm failing you as a, you like you, people pay money and, and you know, and support the stream to do a stip. And then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't get the cards you wanted. So like, I kind of like it when they're more open-ended and open to interpretation. And Kerbit's always like, draft this one specific card. And the one specific card is always Thousand Year Storm, but nevertheless. And then he has to read my stole his money comment on YouTube. It's true. And then everyone's like, you stole that guy's money. I bought you a Coke decanter. I'm not super concerned that you're not nailing my stiff. <laughs> It's true it's true but it's not about the money really it's about the experience right like i want to i want to oh for fuck's sake this guy's real fun at parties here's my step pick all the cards you want god that's dan's you know the way to my heart I'm going to say Carnage. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Oh, they didn't want to do Carnage? Okay. Oh, they got one, two, three, four. They have six mana next turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think this game's over, actually, because once you play Wildfire, it's not good. Six mana. Yep. All right. We're doing. We're doing good. Yep. Um. Maybe we draw like a path, right? <laughs> Let's see if they'll accidentally hit Carnage ever. They didn't. Okay. So we take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Essentially, if they, if they do it right. Pull an Armageddon like that on the EDH table and you get hated forever. Go ahead, pull an Armageddon like that right now at the EDH table, buddy. I dare you. But he never did. They also have t an active Tezzeret going on here. So, you know. That's pretty good. Oh, well, I think they can just kill me here, actually. I'm sorry, what? Why didn't you just... Why wouldn't you just kill me? Add three red, pump this guy three, untap it, add three red. Uh, 
much. I, yeah, all right, sure. All right, sure. So you're going to deal 10 instead of killing me? Sounds good. I don't know, man. I hope they misclick. Dang it, they never misclick. Okay, well, this is a good run. I had a good time. Okay, wildfire, huh? Mm, sort by converted mana cost. Converted mana cost is, I don't think Massacre is going to be great. I think I'd rather just have Bane Slayer for the life. And it survives. Um, well, you guys know what it survives. Let's take Path out, bringing Gideon, because he also survives. This also doesn't look like a super heavy creature deck, so... Yeah, Kerwood bought me, it's the weirdest thing, and everyone was like, is that a bong? Is that a weird bong? And and <laughs> I had no idea who sent it, because Kerwood doesn't actually, like, there's no there's no indication. It's just addressed to me, and it gets here, and it's in an Amazon box. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, is this a Christmas gift from somebody? I don't understand. And um, I was like, it's, a, it's like a wine decanter, but I, I don't drink, and I feel like anyone who's going to give me a Christmas gift would probably know that I'm not a drinker, right? So it was very strange. And I didn't really know what to make of it. And so Kurt was like, hey man, did you get anything did, did you get anything at your house today? And I was like, of course it was Kerwit. Of course. So moral of the story is it was Kerwit. Hashtag it was Kerwit. Oh, what up, Big Lou? I heard a story on LR about a TCG tournament where the players purposely mold to zero. Yeah, I, I also heard that that limited resources bit. Yeah, that was fun. And we mulligan twice here, so I'm just going to keep this basic hand with nothing to do, even though I have tons of two and three drops. So, okie dokie. Um, I guess we'll put Sun Titan back. Colingon's Command seems good against them, and we do have ways to, to cast it in our deck, so that's cool. I was commenting. Me and Marshall Sutcliffe were commenting. Although, if you listen to that LNR, you should have definitely known that, right? Uh, if it's a weird item without any backstory, just assume it's Kerwit. That's literally, yes, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, if I have no idea what this is, it's probably just Kerwit. Oh, do they go to six too? Okay. That's a little more fair. I had to Google that to find out what the heck is a wine decanter. I'd never heard of this fancy stuff. <laughs> Mark's like, do you have a tequila decanter? That's more my speed. Big Lou was super frustrating. Because like this was this big seminal event. This like this was this big seminal round for this 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 fifty K event. And, uh, you know, we were building it up all tournament and we're like, oh man, this is the deck that we've been watching. And then we're like, all right, here comes a great finals match. Right. And then they like just futz around and it's like, cool. Oh my God. Give me that Mox. Give me that Mox Ruby. And it was super frustrating because it's something you can't really take back. You know what I mean? Like once the moment was gone, it was gone. So We can't be like, hey, can you go back and play your match seriously? Because that's the match, 
right? Like they've already mulliganed to zero. They can't like have a, re- we can't start that match over and be like, all right, don't mulligan to zero. Cause it's over, right? It, the, the match is over. So it's, yeah. It, it, what are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Uh, destroy an artifact and deal two to this thing. <laughs> that was probably the best coal against command we could have asked for. All right. Let's get rid of wins. Oh, course of portals, nice. We're listening to the LR episode on a drive this weekend, and when we heard your name, we both looked at each other and we're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> that's kind of funny." Uh, that's <laughs> that's got to be surreal, though, right? Like you guys are driving, and then you just hear one of your good, fr- the, like the name of your good friend on a on a podcast episode, just randomly, like completely unexpected. One, two, three. Um, no, I think we're good. We're just going to play this and play this. We're going to have significantly more options next turn. What can we get with this? We can get Sun Titan. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Crazy Kerwitz, cheap junk. Hey, everyone, it's Crazy Kerwitz here, and I've got piles of junk no one wants. I'm sending it to your house, whether you want it or not. That's the Crazy Kerwitz promise. <laughs> Jesus. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sending my junk to your house. So they got one, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana. Well... All right, this is all fine. Is this a Carnage turn? No, we're just homaging. <laughs> they voted for Carnage. <laughs> oh, funny guy. Oh, we get to draw on their card. I totally forgot. Second black. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You want a broken doorknob? Don't worry, it's on the way. Oh man. What do we get here? Mere battle sphere? That seems good. I, I guess I don't want to lose Nahiri though. I don't want to lose Nahiri tonight. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot of mana. Let's play this. How was McDonald's? It was all right. We'll just get rid of this. I mean, I don't really want to necromancy their their Emery. They didn't really hit anything good either, so. And we're drawing two cards a turn. Hopefully that'll be good enough. They really only hit two lands this game? That's pretty wild. Courage make a blog so we can keep up keep us posted with crazy shit he decides to randomly ship to you. Today I sent this. Did I get to make rib? No, as someone who still doesn't eat red meat. Or pork products i still did not get the mccrib why you keep asking me these questions you got you know my diet you know my dietary choices god damn it she would garner every time i'm like wait he knows this oh i see 
Oh, this is pretty wild. Oh my god, Dan's with the raid. Dan's, you are awesome. Yep, here we go. <laughs> fantastic. Just fantastic. Now I think we are going to snag this Emery. That's pretty wild. Because they think they're going to kill Nahiri, but... And we get to mill, so Null Priest is actually okay. Ooh, interesting. Block. So this guy dies. Now they lose their mountain, we lose ours. So it's one land. We're going to kill their Grim Monolith. Ugh, I guess they, they, if we kill the Grim Monolith, they get to untap their Basalt Monolith. Whatever. This is a pretty wild, uh... Yeah, let's say homage. Interesting. Oh, no lands. Sounds good. I'm just gonna exile this. Because it's their only red source right now. The spicy nugs of beak here, pretty dang good. Not gonna lie, I'm really glad. I'm really glad you're not lying about that, Dan's. I'd be a little disappointed. I'd be like, I can't believe Dan's lied about that. You got it. Okay, sneak attack something else. Uh, that's fine. So this guy dies and then you we get to kill this guy with blood chief's thirst if we hit any black source one two three four sure now here he takes one always homaging black source yes yes And your move. <laughs> Island. Got it. Homage again. Did you get me what I wanted for Christmas? I Not yet. But there's still time. Um, We're at 20. So. Thank you. It's Knight's Whisper here. Mox? Whoa, Mox into Orzov Signet. That was a hell of a thing. Dan's with the gifted sub. Oh my god, you're a friggin' you're a hero. One, two, three. Dan's, I love you, buddy. One, two. I don't think we're gonna I don't think I care about your one card in hand. I'm gonna draw a card. Actually, I'm not gonna do anything. Look who recovered after your stupid Sundering Titan. Poe is right. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we're definitely exiling a sneak attack because they, they probably have no route to victory after this. They're going to keep voting for Carnage. They voted for Homage. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We can't Null Priest or Karn here. Uh, We can Gideon. Yeah, I'm just going to Mind Twist for... One, two, three, one, two. We don't really need the lifelink here. Two, 
three, four. Just play Elspeth here. Okay. Good good times. Good times. I do wish I had more things to deal with their artifacts. I do not. Actually, Path might be better than Blood Chief's Thirst. Actually, I mean, we saw we saw Chandra and what was the one? Was that another Planeswalker in Game One, or am I am I going crazy? Tezzeret. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, actually, then we'll take out Winds of Abandon and bring in Path. I mean, ideally, we can go, like, turn one land Mox Orzov Signet into uh, turn two Mind Twist for, like, three. I think that would be a... I don't think we're asking for too much. <laughs> it's basic nugonomics. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, you know what? This is actually close to what I was asking for. It's turn two Signet into, into Mind Twist. And you know what? Maybe that's good enough. We could always draw the Mox Ruby off the top. Maybe. Oh, look at this little idiot. We didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> Ancient tomb, huh? You coming in with this guy? Sure. You know what? I'll take it. Nugonomics. So we've seen zero counter spells from them. Hmm. I think we actually want to kill this guy first. And the reason being, if they get to, if they put anything big in the yard, I just don't want to have to deal with it. I would say put Recurring Nightmare down, but I don't think it does much. And I think keeping Path Up's a little better. Oh, what up, my nerds? Oh, it's Packer. It's the Pac-Man. Sure. Okay. Give me a land here. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Beautiful. Mind twist you for a million. Chandra, Wildfire, Frost Titan, Inferno Titan. <sighs> Seems good. Hopefully you don't have one more thing, because otherwise we should have Elspeth Conqueror's death. I mean, this is two hits. Like, I can't imagine they have a third hit in their hand.
I'm tapped out. If they had something big, they just play it, right? Good. Okay. Four lands. Oh, what? We survive? Let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> now they have one card in hand. Sure. If they attack with this, we just get to kill it with Gideon and, like, they have nothing. Yeah. All right. This is, this is pretty decent. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Sunder was the only fat idiot. We also saw they did play they did play an Urza through a, through a thing. Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, I wish we were getting something back with Elspeth Conqueror's death, but... Oh, well. A K command I cannot cast. Hmm. I mean, we're also playing Sun Titan, which gets nothing back. We have like Elizabeth Conqueror's Death and Sun Titan, which are getting nothing back on this. Shut board. up and take my money. But what can you do? Iron Man, get that rent in. Dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. There's still time. We can still do it. Thank you. Oh my God, Dan's gifting subs to Elk Tears. Gosh, you're really carrying in the carrying him in this relationship, Dan's. And I appreciate it. Frantic search. They're also at six, so they're dead to literally both of these, and neither of them die to a wildfire. So, did you say you're moving to Renton? No, like I said, get that rent in. <laughs> No, no, unless Wizards offer me, offers me a position, I will likely not be moving to Trenton. I wouldn't mind moving to Trenton. I actually loved it. Seattle was fantastic when I lived there. What's your favorite Mike B story? Oh, we win the match with our mediocre black-white deck. Absolutely love it. My favorite Mike B story. Oh, man, I know I have one. I actually probably can't tell my favorite Mike B story on stream because I'm pretty sure he'd be upset. <laughs> oh, just thinking about it, though. Just thinking about it. <laughs> he pooped his pants, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no man don't wor don't worry about it my league matchmaking failed doug have a good night buddy also i'm definitely trying to get that that end of the year last day to stream push because like all the subs and stuff all the subs and bits i get for for like the the say like t today tonight and on the 31st go towards uh my december earnings on twitch which is always nice uh would you like to play first obviously i mean that's what kind of weird question i guess this is the hand this is the hand we wanted against that other deck i guess it's fine here but the best Mike B stories are the fanfics that Kurt, Kurt the, the, the effort Kurt would put into those fanfics is just f ridiculous. F ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
BBD admitted to pooping his pants and having to ride the elevator with five people. That's amazing. Wow, what's that smell? I don't know, man. What, what do you guys smell something? I don't. I don't smell anything. In that situation, I feel like it's he who doesn't smelt it, dealt it, right? Elspeth, Planeswalker. Big thing. Uh, as a blue deck, I'm probably just going to play the Recurring Nightmare just so it's out of my hand. I once had a multi-millionaire contractor I worked for randomly tell me a story about pooping his pants. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. I mean, I don't think any amount of money makes you uh, immune to pooping your pants, you know? Dude, I'm going to tell you, as an adult, there's been so many times where I almost poop my pants. There's just times where, like, you gotta go, man. And, like, you can't, like, you just can't stop it. That train's pulling out of the station. And even if you're, like, pinching as hard as you can, sometimes things get a little dicey. Hold on, Hunter's trying to get in. Let me let Hunter in. That's also not to say I've pooped my pants any time recently, or even, I don't even, I'm not even sure if I have in my adult life, but I have a bunch of friends, and I know people who have, and I have definitely come close to being in a situation where I was like, you know what, this is a precarious situation I'm in. Okay. Okay. They have two lands. It's not good. Oh, the hollow blade. This guy is seasoned. You need to drink more. You'd poop your pants more often. Has anyone ever seen that Tim and Eric Cinco product, the D pants? I don't think so. I poop my pants on. See, everyone has the story, right? Like, no one wants to tell it, but everyone has it. So really, like, once you start telling them or, or, or talking openly about how, like, it's totally fine. Like, everyone really is like, you know, it is. It's okay. So we could play We could play Amiria's Call. I think we're just going to run this Elspeth out there, though. Okay, we just win the game. Like you do. Like you do. First time that I get to watch you live, this deck looks... This deck was been sweet. We won the first round. We're in round two right now. It's really sad that we wasted our, like, Mox Ruby Orzov Signet turn one opening on the deck that doesn't actually have much to do. I kind of want Baneslayer because they look like a Storm deck. That might be better than Battlesphere. Customer tried to stop me on the way to the bathroom and completely ignore them. Yeah, I would do the same thing. Like, you just don't have time. Like, if you're in that moment, you just don't have time for the niceties. Like, there's times for apologies afterwards, but... Oh my god, the, the, we get it again? The same opening twice? Oh god. So lucky. So blessed. If we see a brain freeze, we'll definitely bring in Kozilek, but I don't want to bring it in if we're not, if we're not sure. They went to six on the play? Oh, oh jeez. Well, that's a that's a decent turn one for a Mulda six. 
Mine will also be good, you see. Are they going to daze me? I think they're thinking about it. They got days? Yo, you got days? <laughs> okay. So this is funny because this, this sets me back one mana, but that sets them back one mana as well. So I don't even think that was really... JK, you're actually the unluckiest streamer I've ever seen. You know what? As as ridiculous as that sounds, I don't think that's a... I actually appreciate you saying that because it makes me feel less crazy. Oof. Shut up and take my Oof. money. All right, Koopa, let's get a rent train going. Oh, man, please get a rent train going. My desire to live in a home and pay my bills uh, is, is very strong. It's strong enough for me to... To appreciate a rent train. Hi, right, Koopo. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Shut up and take my money. Magic banding. Stip. No card restrictions. Have fun and thanks for the great content. Don't let nobody touch your spaghetti. Yeah, that seems good. I'm actually gonna do that stipulation. And we're gonna we're gonna have a good time with it. So I can't Gonti here, unfortunately. Huh. Target player discards a card. Target player discards a destroying artifact. Yeah, we're going to do this, though. I hope they don't have a counterspell. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. Magic Bandy, thank you so much. Hi, Koopo. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate both of you. You're wonderful souls. It's because of you I get to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Oh. <laughs> Girl with the ten dollar rent train. Oh my god. I don't deserve you guys. You guys are like dogs to me. I don't deserve you. See that was how I see it was a it was a complimentary dogs in the sense that we don't deserve dogs as humans rather than like you know an insulting you guys are dogs. You get it. Dogs are cool. Katie doesn't let me eat unless I pull in so much money. It's true. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. What do we think? We think they got a counterspell? That sentiment is true for two of my three dogs. One of you I definitely deserve. <laughs> so it's either Baneslayer, Jura, or Gonti. What do you guys think? This is not a stip. No, this is just how our deck turned out. Magic banding. Let's write this bad boy down. Thank you. Super Fritz with the gifted subs. Oh my god. You guys are fucking wonderful. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> god. Every day. Thank you. Every day I'm grateful for all of you. I'm just going to play Bane Slayer. Thank I feel like they're going to have a hard time answering this. And it's a card that if they counter it, like, we can get it back with several cards in our deck. Dude, Super Fritz, thank you, buddy. You are awesome, dude. You're the best sandwich artist I've ever known. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Shinala, just regular 35? No, no, nothing else? Nothing, no message? Shinala, dude, I appreciate you, buddy. Oh my god, you guys are fantastic. I can't, like, this is, this is the Christmas spirit right here. You guys are freaking great. I'm just going to play this guy. We'll see what happens. <gasps> oh boy, that's a hit. My message didn't go in. Chanel, type it here. <laughs> That's, I was like, wow, really? Not even like a meme? Dude, Chanel, I'm going to assume there was some stipulation attached. Okay, you, guys, you guys are making my, getting my work cut out for me. Wait. Am I waiting? Who's waiting? You didn't take twin? N no. 
It's on the bottom. <laughs> I guess we could have twinned Gonti forever. Uh, that's pretty good. If they have a way to kill their hangar back walker, it's really sad because then they got a bunch of dudes. Okay, it doesn't look like they did. So we get to keep up cryptic command. I'm like, you know you don't have a thing, right? Sure. Ooh, coercive portal. Portole. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually, we can keep murderous rider up. Huh. Aganti could be anything. It could even be a cryptic command. Frank, taking twin there would have been like asking the genie for a million wishes. <laughs> I think it's a fragile plan once you're asking me here. And you're also asking me to like literally pass up my my absolute Shut up and take one of my, my money. absolute favorite cards in the cube. Oh my god, rent B bizboss, thank you for the rent bucks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, you guys are fucking fantastic. Oh, I posted the message. Where is it? You can draft whatever you like. Better not steal my money by drafting things you don't like, or you two will hear. <laughs> oh god. Jesus. God, I hope I don't draft anything I don't like, like unintentionally. Um I'm not I'm not taking cryptic command down cuz if they get if they either kill this or get any number of creatures. They have one card in hand though. Oh god, what if they kill this? What if they kill this? How do we win then? I'm playing Gideon Jura, and I'm making them attack it. So now they either have to tap this on their turn. That's actually, Gideon Jura is actually a really good foil for opposition, right? Like, they either tap it on their turn, or they don't get to use it. That's true, actually. I could murder a Shrider a token if they kill it. I didn't think about that. Oh, God, they're going to kill it. They didn't kill it. Oh, they're just they're using it instead of activating it. Got it. Got it. Oh, Dan's with the bits. Murderous riding bits. Love it. Love it. Is it going to be a land? Interesting. Can we kill this guy? Oh, we have to force them to attack now. I think we play Murderous Rider, force them to attack, block with the Rider. <laughs> oh, man. Come at me, bro. Just casting Murderous Rider as a man. Cast him as a man. And now we got Cryptic Command up. Buddy. You guys are my favorite. Absolute favorite. I love all of you. Okay, the old main phase. Crack that tarn. Crack that tarn. Oh, yeah, whatever this is. Never. <laughs> Counter target spell draw a card. Cryptic command. So now you have to come at Gideon. We eat this guy. We attack you for five, six, seven, eight, nine. You go to one. Oh, and we kill you with Gideon. Boy, our deck is bananas good. I wouldn't have said it was that good, but it, it's working. Can't you end step crypt cryptic and win? No, I mean, they're going to untap six lands, right? So we, we cryptic and then they get to literally counter it. Like, don't we just win that way? <laughs> like, I feel like I'll just counter their time spiral and win. I mean, them drawing seven and then untapping six lands is Shut up and take my money. not ideal. 
Warren G, murderous riders, mount up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. No, and tap their dudes. I mean, their, their dudes are going to get tapped anyway because of Gideon. Gideon's, they're forced to attack. Yes. I mean, maybe we could have done it sooner if that's what you mean, but... I don't know, man. Ugh, God. I don't like this hand. This is a little better. We can ship Massacre, Massacre Worm. I'll keep it. We can get a Sacred Foundry here, too, so that's pretty good. Oh, they went to five? I don't know. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. Yeah, let's get a Sacred Foundry. Oh. I mean, I can't even complain, right? Because we were going to get that anyway, so. I mean, I can't complain because, like, I wanted that land. Sure. That's old Steamy Boy. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be attacking. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha, nerd. Oh, Blood Chief's Thirst seems real good here. Um. Yeah, we're going to Signet here because I want to be able to play Elspeth and Sacred Foundry next turn. It's obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five mana. Not exactly seven. It's annoying. It means my soldier can't block. A one, two, three, to the four. You were the queen, though. Wow, everybody's coming in, huh? Are they going face? What was it? Getting Jura? Oh, wow. Gideon Jura seems great here. Um, let's block at this guy. Discard a Karn. Get him. Um, yeah, I feel like we can attack safely here. Famous last words, I'm sure, but that's okay. Here comes Hellrider. Young Pyromancer, don't really care that much. They didn't do anything else. Um, okay. Discards a card, calling on command takes two, deals two to any bro. I think we're just going to keep that in hand, actually. I mean, if they make one dude, it's fine. I mean, we could Colgan's command get this guy back and kill this. But it's going to attack anyway. So, like, I'm just going to discard Swamp. We're eating the peas, father. One, two, three, one, two. Huh. I mean, we can put him in the top deck mode here. Target player discards a card. Go. 
glory bringer. Oh man, I'm glad we did that. I mean, as long as they don't draw Hellrider, we're we're good. Or that. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Just kidding, it's not Hellrider, it's Koth. Okay, well, you got it, I guess. Mm, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> wah wah. Where's a Sun Titan when you need it, man? Okay, just keep drawing. What? Oh, that seems real good for us. Yeah, man, sure. What in the earth, dude? Mox. Planes. Three, four, five, six. We can cast Sun Titan. They have nothing on board for this. Mask Worm is also not great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sun Titan. Effects. Okay. <laughs> like, wow. You're like, Mind Twist, you're just never going to keep up with us. Okay, Mask Arms is good. Battle Sphere seems slow. Karn seems slow. Bane Slayer seems good. Soulfire Grandmaster seems fine. It's just like a body. I think Gideon's probably better than um, Null Priest and Soulfire having lifelink and and this actually seems fine. Yeah, when I don't even give a second thought to casting Knight's Whisper because uh, my life total is so high, like you're in a good position against the mono red deck. Cool hand. Solid hand. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This one's good. I want to ship the Colagon's command. We don't have a red. Like right here, we have a two drop. Mind twist on. Okay, give me some lands. Give me a black blade. Actually, that's really good. If we hit another white source, but yeah, they, they got a goblin Guido. All right, Bane Slayer. <laughs> another good one. Yep, you got it. 13 already. Goblin Guide's a real dude. Hmm. A Mox would be neat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Goblin Dark Dwellers with no... Interesting. Well, this is pretty rough. I liked it better when they were potentially giving me lands. God, this is real bad. Cast, kill you. Attack with you. Man, turn five. We could be playing a Bane Slayer this turn, but missed two land drops. That's pretty good, yeah. That's really good because they discard their one card and draw two, and they get a 1-1 one -one out of it. So, so yeah, that's really good. 
Yep. So we go to one here. This is a very good draw. Okie dokie. That's not going to do it. Baneslayer would have been good there. I mean, if we can actually reanimate a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. We don't have an efficient way to get into the graveyard, but... Yeah, this seems good. It's a little slow, but we have a, an early two drop that we can s discard things to keep it alive. Seven lander should have been the keep. That mind twist, you cannot thirst copter it as creature or planeswalker. Of which copter is neither. This is three games in a row with Goblin God on turn one. <laughs> Yikes. Rampaging Ferocidon? It's just Embereth Shieldbreaker. That's unimpressive. Man, if we can draw like Skyclave Apparition and get rid of the Mana Crypt, that'd be real sweet. Or if we can draw just Mox and do Mind Twist for three, that'd be cool too. I mean, I'm pretty sure I block here. I mean, I'll gladly trade a, a random card in my hand for your guy. Okay. Well, dang it. Got Wheel of Fortune and Mizium Orders. Seems good. I bet they were going to wheel. <laughs> I mean, next time we get to Portal, they don't have much going on now. So... Let's get rid of Gideon as good as Gideon is. Wow, it's amazing. You had a land and a five drop. Cool. Recurring Nightmare. Fucking Nahiri with no... Ugh, that's frustrating. We still win this race, especially when they have a Mana Crypt that they could... Yep, they're at seven. I don't think they can attack with the Elemental anymore unless they draw a Glorybringer. Phenomenal. Yep. Land. Necromancy. We're still alive. Wow. I hope they try to exert. And they're at four from the friggin' mana crypt, so they're dead on board to Baneslayer. What a game, dude. What swings. It's also turn five. We missed two land drops. I guess we technically missed one because they made us discard one, but nevertheless. Oh, man. And I really have my doubts that they top deck a five, five damage spell. Oh. Trophy! Oh, my God. Dan's, I think it's because you can cross those, those fingers and those toesies. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to Twitch. Ooh, how much does this Council's Judgment go for? This thing is sweet. Uh, be sure to follow and subscribe. If you guys are considering supporting the channel, definitely head on over to twitch.tv slash franklapore and skip it, send a sub. Use your Twitch Prime sub. Consider subscribing. It's a great way to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.